joined by Bernard van der Linde, who represented Mello Park's first team, as well as the Blue Bulls in the Academy Week earlier this year. Bernard, thank you so much for joining us. How are you? Uh, I'm very good, thank you. Thank you for having me. It's a huge honor, and uh, I'm very excited. Let's get right into it. Try and describe for us your playing style. Um, I'm a very instinctive runner with the ball. Um, I, love, I love attacking the open play. I love defense. I'm also a goal kicker, so um, I also love the kicking game. So I'm, I'm quite, I'm quite the all-round player. Who would you say has been your support base? Who has supported you from day one? Um, definitely the Lord has helped me um, from the start, um, and also my mom and dad. They, they have always been there for me. They have always supported my decisions, no matter what. And also all of the coaches I have had from primary school up until now. So. You moved to a school in Menlo Park in the middle of grade 9 from a smaller rugby school so that you could pursue your dream of playing rugby at a professional level one day. How has attending a school like Menlo Park assisted your development as a rugby player? Um, Menlo Park has, has been very good for me. Um, it gave me the opportunity to travel more. Um, like for instance, we are going away to Glenwood or something just for one weekend and then coming back the, the Sunday. So that definitely traveling and also um, it gave me the opportunity to, to play with the best players against the best players. You know, you were part of the under 16 and under 17 green squads. What is a green squad and how is this attending those camps benefits you? Uh, the green squad is a, is a training camp where they invite uh, some of the best rugby players in the country from the age group and at that camp they learn you more about the Springbok culture and how it is to and feel when you are playing at the high level like that. Being at the green squad um, I have been I learned new techniques from different coaches from, from different coaches all over the country and um, it's also nice to play with the best players from other provinces. You represented the Blue Bulls in the Academy Week, which is the second string team to the Craven Week team this year. But you are still in Grade 11, so there's a high chance you will make Craven Week next year. Talk us through the Academy Week. You guys did win the unofficial final. Talk us through that. Being chosen for the Academy Week team has been awesome for me. It has been a wonderful experience. It has been awesome for me to play for the Bulls in the Academy Week team. And we had a good team that eventually won the Academy Week, so, so I'm very happy about that. As we end off, Bernard, what are your rugby aspirations? Where do you want to go with the sport? Uh, it's a huge dream of me to, to become a professional rugby player and make a career out of it. Um, also, um, I would love to play for the Springboks. I mean, playing for the Springbok is like the ultimate. So, so playing for the Springboks is also a huge aspiration for me. Um, the thing that that motivates me every single day is is um, we our backline coach this year was Jakub van der Westhuizen, um, who was who was who played for the Bulls and for the Springboks. And through the year, he told me stories about how it is like to be there, and that really uh, motivated me to train hard every day to become the best player I possibly can be. Bernard, Game on Media, thank you for joining us and we wish you all the best in your future endeavours. Thank you very much. It's been a pleasure for me to be here.